All right, so here's let, let's get to the challenging part, right, going forward. Uh, I know you see storm clouds forming on the horizon, including, obviously, for your business. Describe those clouds. Well, uh, the, you know, right now we're still riding on the post-COVID rebound, but that's coming to an end. Uh, you know, the world economy is uh, is not looking so strong right now. I mean, people are talking about recession. Uh, when there is strong inflation, food and gasoline prices, people got to buy those essentials first. And uh, apparel is a discretionary spending. And uh, we're seeing, you know, sort of slow down there. Uh, there is also uh, interest rate hikes that uh, take and uh, require more mortgage payments. Uh, people have uh, less disposable income. Uh, all the free money that the uh, governments around the world were giving out, you know, ended and, you know, people are not feeling as flush. Uh, you know, you also get like uh, financial markets tanking. And of course, there's been this uh, recent rebound. But in general, this year has been very bad for the uh, financial markets. And uh, people have this reverse wealth effect, whereas psychologically, they're less prone to spend. And uh, we're seeing our customers, you know, these brands and retailers from the West, sort of uh, being very cautious in placing new orders next year. Uh, interesting uh, leading edge uh, insight there, Stanley. And uh, just allied to that, how challenging would you say uh, business conditions are and uh, the macro environment is in China? I think China is altogether a different uh, story. China, uh, China's COVID policies have made a huge impact on the, the domestic economy. I, I've been there a lot these past two years and I uh, was there earlier this year as well. And uh, these lockdowns are just, uh, just uh, they, they, they're brutal. And, uh, you know, and I was talking to a, a fashion brand who said, oh, their second quarter sales were down in almost 30% and they feel that they are outperforming the market already. Uh, so brands that are concentrated in the big cities like Shanghai you know, were, were very affected. Uh, but in general, people are just more cautious. They're not going out to eat, uh, fearing that, you know, if, in case there is a COVID case in that same restaurant, uh, everybody is deemed a close contact and they get shipped out to quarantine hotels. So that kind of mentality is really affecting the, uh, the, the domestic economy.